Hi, I'm Andrew from Okta, and today we're going to look at this application of React Router using the Azure AD IDP. So here we have this application. How did we create this application? Go to Applications, click Create App Integration, select OIDC, and select Single Page Application. On the next page, we can fill out all the details. And this is the step that I've already completed. So let's look at our existing application. So here is the application. We've got our client ID. We're going to be leveraging Pixie for authentication. And we've set up the redirect URLs here as well. So here is that live application. This is the application created essentially by following the Okta React tutorial with a few extra additions to handle our Azure AD Federated user a little bit more cleanly. So what does this entail? Let's first look at our user assignments here. So we've assigned this to, we have one user, test at test.com. And this is actually a user who is in this group. We've created a group with a name to match the application. And that is our user. So if we look at our people here, we can see we have our test user. But if we go back to the application, we also have our Azure AD federated user of Fred at aad.secure.xyz. And if you notice, this user is not in the list here. So let's take a look at how we configure that IDP. First, go to Security Identity Providers. Here we have the Microsoft Azure AD IDP setup. Clicking on the Configure Identity Provider over here, we can see a little bit more. So I created this by following this setup instructions guide here. And essentially, you end up with a client ID, and you'll generate a secret as well. We've got all of our scopes here to grab that user profile information. And let's take a quick look over at Microsoft to see that side of the equation here. So if we look at our user page, we can see we have our Fred Federated user. Their username is Fred at AAD.SupreSecureXYZ, and there they are. So they exist on this domain. And if we look at our Azure AD app registration, so you access this by going to Azure Active Directory, click on App Registrations. From here, you can create a new registration. This is actually not the app. We're actually setting up Okta IDP here. So it's not specifically the app. That's a kind of an important distinction here. We're not redirecting to the app, we're redirecting to Okta, and Okta is handling the token exchange between our app and Azure AD. So you can see here we've got our application ID that matches this one, 83F7, 83F7. And if we look at the redirect URLs, all of the redirect URLs are in fact sending us back to Okta. So if we look at the setup instructions, that is the step here, the redirect URI, pointing it to your company's Okta instance. In this case, uh, supersecuredev.okta.com. Okay, back to Azure AD. We just created a web app, so that's a, an important distinction. We don't create a spa here, we create a web app. We create that redirect URL, um, you do have to flip this to accounts in any organizational directory. I don't know why they make you do that because this is a user within this directory, but I think it has to do with the fact that I'm using multiple different domain names. And if we look at the certificates and secrets section, this is where we do generate that client secret. That is the other parameter in here. So once you create this app registration, that's really all you need to do from this side. Now we're ready for this user to log in. Well, let's take a look at how this works. On the code here, if we take a look at our home page, we've got our user credentials here. We've got a couple of buttons, log in via redirect, that takes you through the redirect flow. But if you want to leverage a form-based login, uh, the 
the form is actually going to be passing the credentials directly to Okta, in which case you can't leverage that external IDP because we need the end user to log into the IDP themselves. So how do we achieve that? Well, if we look at the sign-in form upon submitting the user credentials, in fact, the first thing we're going to do is run a web finger request, which essentially looks up what that user's IDP is. And if we discover that it is not Okta, we're going to actually redirect them. We're going to log in via redirect, and we're going to take the IDP parameter that we received from the web finger request and pass that into the login via redirect function that I created up here, which in turn generates an object with the IDP parameter and calls the OctaAuth token get with redirect function. So OctaAuth is coming from the use OctaAuth imported from the Okta React library. So with this single call here, we are able to redirect to Azure AD, and this federated user will in fact be created because our advanced settings down here indicate that we will create a new user leveraging JIT, just-in-time creation. And in fact, we will put that user into that corresponding group that matches our app and allows that user to immediately access that application. Let's take a quick look at how this plays out. So if I log in with my Okta user, I can click on login via form. I can put this in here and I'm just going to be authenticating directly against Okta. And now I'm logged in as testy testerson and I can access the protected page protected by that Okta router. So let's go ahead and log out and take a look at our federated user now. If I copy these credentials, so the login via redirect does work, but I want to redirect it via a form a little bit more cleanly. I don't really need to put in my password here because it's redirecting me to that IDP anyhow. Let's go ahead and submit that. And what we're going to see is that we're actually redirected to Microsoft now, at which point I can type in my password directly into Microsoft and I will not stay signed in. And I'm redirected back to my application and I'm now logged in as Fred Federated. And I can access that protected page as my Fred user as well. So now, if you recall, we previously looked at our user directory here and we did not see our Fred Federated user, but now our user exists. They have been created with that just-in-time creation and they are now in that group to have access to this application. So that is how you go about creating a very basic uh, login via redirects to an external IDP, leveraging WebFinger, and this is all built on React using that React router version 5. Thanks for watching.